what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Apocatobia with Cannibal Crab. I just wanted to take a second before we start this episode to give you a heart. Whoop. Thank you for subscribing and liking the video, and look at our base. Oh my god, guys. Our base is getting intense. Let me go ahead and fly up here. I know I'm in creative. I'm not cheating. Don't worry. I just wanted to show you guys above base. Look, we got the farm right there. We got to add like a logging camp right here. That could be pretty cool. Uh, maybe we could expand that a little bit. Maybe we'll make it like all the way over here and make a huge forest. That way we can get a bunch of logs and we can start getting a lot more villagers with the emeralds. And I kind of like how this part is just kind of like the work area and then obviously have the factory. And then over there we have the excavator. So we're going to continue on today. We do not have enough power to run the excavator. Uh, so today we are going to work on power and let's just fly down Woo -ha! before we do that though obviously first things first the subscriber of the day is ezekiel estrada welcome to the squad now you wanted to be a guard dog or a uh guard what is that kind of the same thing but anyways the wolf you shall be dubbed our first wolf of the village hopefully you will protect us from the zombies that are plaguing the night oh he's mad why is he mad uh oh where's he going Let's see what he's doing. Let's follow Ezekiel. He's going. He's sniffing out. He's sniffing something out. He's like, I smell a zombie. Let me open the door for you. Uh-oh. Oh, there you go. Oh, there he goes. Go, Ezekiel. Get him. Where is the zombie? Sniff him out. I don't know if he's that direction. Well, well, Ezekiel, as long as he's past the water, we're fine. We're in the clear. All right, so guys, let's get started. Now, obviously, uh, the excavator is huge, and it gets like 40,000 ores every chunk, but we need a way to power it. And I have an idea that is going to be shocking to some people, <laughs> if I must say. It is going to be a lightning rod. Look at this thing. Look at this. Oh. Look at all the capacitors and all the coils on it. This thing's going to be insane. It's going to give us so much power. Hopefully unlimited power. But it's going to take a lot of capacitors. Because look at this thing. Look at all the layers in it. And it, we look at the question mark here. It says required four steel scaffoldings. Four high voltage capacitors. What do we mean? We, we just made our first capacitor. So we're going to have to do some progressing in this episode. Let me just say that. Now, I did a little bit of mining before the episode. And we got a bunch of lead and lead iron steel and iron and copper which is pretty much i think all we need so we should be good we're gonna have to make some more engineers hammer engineers hammer and wire cutters but that's a whole nother story and our tech chest is getting a bit crowded as well so we might have to make some a better uh oh you know what i think extra utilities has a crate of some sort oh what is that no reinforced crate no that's immersive engineering uh chest how about that chest no maybe i didn't yeah extra utilities is in here what's that thing called storage i think it's called storage maybe they took it out huh what, what the heck? i don't know what i'm talking about but i'll figure it out anyways first things first we need to make high voltage capacitors so let's go ahead and look up the recipe for that capacitors now we made the low voltage obviously it was just iron copper and lead and it looks like high voltage Wait, can we make a creative capacitor? <laughs> That'd be funny. Uh, high voltage is just the same kind of thing, but with steel instead of iron. And then obviously a block of lead. Um, so we're going to have to go ahead and make a bunch of treated wood planks. Um, let's get... So we need... I think we need four of them. Uh, what did it say? Three? Let's see. Luckily, we got this question marker here. All right, we need four of them. So we need four blocks of lead. Let's go ahead and make that. Uh, hopefully we have it, because I do not want to... Uh, Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, thank God. <laughs> I was about to say, I do not want to get st gift of sifting again, because it's like the only way to get lead really quickly is to sift a billion diorite. Um, all right, so we got the four blocks of lead, and now we just need four blocks of redstone. Hopefully we have that. We have 15 redstone. We might have to sift for some redstone, actually, unfortunately. Uh, boom, block of redstone. Uh, but we'll do that in a little bit later. And the rest is we need four of these, so we need 12 steel. One, two, three, four, five. Ha, ha. That's 12 right there, I think. Uh, and then aluminum as well. So do we have aluminum? We have silver. Uh, we might have to sift. There is some aluminum right there. All right, so it looks like we only need four, eight aluminum. So we have enough aluminum. Boom, we have eight right there. Bang. All right, so let's throw that back in there. Um, now, so we're just going to, how do we get redstone from sifting? I forget. Let's go ahead and look it up. Redstone is gotten from sifting a dust. All right, so cool. We're going to have to, uh, we should have a bit of dust in here. We got sand, so that's good enough. Let's go ahead and get the hammer to the sand, get a bunch of redstone from dust. Where's my hammer? Oh, it broke last episode. Crap, I got to make another hammer though. One sec. Uh, yeah, I'm going to make a hammer, get some dust, and hopefully get enough redstone for 
three more blocks of redstone. We have returned. We have lots of lots of dust. Hopefully we have enough. Uh, if not, we have some sand right there. Uh, so we got the dust here. Let's go ahead and start sieving because that's obviously the most uh, the most fun thing to watch while you're recording. Oh, we got oh, we got a redstone. Bada bing, bada boom. We need nine for a block though. Oh, there's another one. Come on, give me the redstone. I think that was glowstone too. Look at that. Oh, we got some glowstone. All right, one more redstone for a block. Come on, give it to me, sieve. Uh, what is that? <gasps> Blaze powder. That sounded really close. I should probably check on that, but I'm not going to because I want to see. So we got nine redstone. That's in one block. All right, let's sieve all this dust. You know what I should do is really make a five by five one of these sieves because I think that's the max like limit you can have on them, and it'll probably go much faster. But let's go ahead and check. <gasps> yes, we have 29 redstone. We got one. We got the last one right there. We've been getting lucky with the sieving. I'm not gonna lie. So let's go ahead and see if we get another redstone. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> We are on a roll. All right, so we need three more blocks. Ding, ding, ding. Poo, there we go. All right, we got four blocks of redstone, four blocks of lead. Let's go ahead and uh, organize this. So steel across the center. All right, what do we need for the bottom? Oh, yeah, treated wood. All right, let's go ahead and see if we got some of that. We got six treated wood. We might need a little bit more, so let's go over here. Obviously, get a uh, creosote bucket. Let's get some wood up in here, and let's go ahead and make our treated wood. Bang. All the way around. Bop treated wood we have definitely enough now so let's put that right there four steel on the top in each slot aluminum on the left and the right block of lead and a redstone has boom a high voltage capacitor we're probably going to need that trust me when we get struck by lightning also we're gonna have to do the rain dance or something because lightning i haven't seen it rain probably ever in the series uh so we're gonna have to do some special rain dancing aka rich coating uh to make it rain so we're gonna go ahead and get to that in a little bit though let's go ahead and back go ahead and go back to the uh where is the lightning rod there he is so we got all right so we need four steel scaffolding i'm pretty sure we have that left over we have two uh so oh we got to make another some more scaffolding which is obviously just the uh the the sticks or the, sorry, the steel rods, and steel across the, the top right there. Nani? Uh, oh, we got to Okay, there we go. Steel scaffolding. All right. Now, next is a light engineering block. Do we have any more of those? Ooh, we have a heavy engineering block. We might need that, so we'll keep that. Uh, but, nope, we need the light engineering block. Uh, let's go ahead and look that up. Obviously, I, I guess I'll just refresh the, uh, the recipe for you guys. Three copper, four iron, iron mechanical component, out the wazoo and obviously iron plates so do we have any of those iron mechanical components it looks like we do not so we're gonna have to grab the copper huh. we're gonna have to smelt some copper that's for sure uh and then we're gonna have to grab the plate thing there we go we got the engineer's hammer uh we need four and i think we need four times four so we need 16 or something so let's just make it all plates how about that and then let's surround this boop, boop, boop. so we need one two three we ran out, but yeah. Anyways, we need, uh, oh wait, actually, what, what, how many do we need? We only need, okay, we need four. All right, well, we need, we need more iron mechanical components, that's for sure. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and do the copper and the, let's get some iron. Uh-oh, we're gonna have to go smelt some stuff with the arc furnace, I believe, because, unless I have some iron in here, just real quick. Yes, I do. Uh, we have enough steel, so we'll let that just ride for now. All right, we got the iron required. Let's go ahead and put it all on four corners, and then the copper all around, and then uh, the iron mechanical component. There we go. All right, boom. So, oh, we only need, okay, so we only need um, one more iron plate. I forgot to give you two in the recipe, so that's pretty dark, actually. So we'll go ahead and do the iron plates, uh, and we'll give it one more go here with the copper, iron mechanical component, uh, iron in all four corners, and the copper. Boop! Look at that. Bang. We are already done. Four low voltage capacitor, or not, uh, engineering blocks. There we go. All right. Back to the question mark we go. Treated wood fence. Oh, really? A treated wood fence, you say? I have a bunch of treated wood. Well, not really. Uh, let's go ahead and how do you make a fence, by the way? Like that? No, it's with the sticks. It is with the sticks right there. And then like that, I think. No, we got to do the wood right there, I believe. Oh my god, how do you make a fence, guys? <laughs> I suck at Minecraft, what's going on? Treated wood fence, there it is. Alright, yes, requ it requires more wood planks. We're going to have to go get, get, get some old creosote from right here. Uh, actually, no, right here, yeah. More wood for us. Let's go ahead and surround that around. Creosote, boop. This is a very technical episode so far. I'm like losing my breath talking about this stuff. All right, treated wood, right through, boom, right there and there and there. And then the sticks in the middle, boom, we have ourselves some fancies. All right, so question mark. 
three high voltage coil block. Now that sounds fun. High voltage coil block. Oh my goodness, what is this? So we need three of these, which means we need eight times 24 wires, which means we need six of these recipes. So let's, uh, I'm gonna make a bunch of wire, I guess. Steel wire. Oh, I'm gonna need shears. Ooh, that. Hello. Well, we need some iron and, uh, wait, do we have shears over here? Let's see. Ah, get out of my face. Ah, there we go. I got it. Don't worry. Okay, we got clippers anyways. All right, so it, look, it looks like we need to, uh oh, we need another hammer. How do we make that again? Engineer's hammer. Um, some string, two iron, and sticks. Perfect. All right, where's our string? We got to have some string somewhere. We killed a bunch of spiders. There it is. We got the string. Uh, and then two iron and sticks. So we can just go ahead and use the treated wood sticks, two iron, and a string. Boop. We have the hammer made, baby. So let's go ahead and make, uh, let's just make 10, 11 plates. Sure, why not? Uh, and then let's clip them all. So let's get the engineer's wire cutters, put them down. Whoop. Steel wires. 11 of them. Our inventory is getting crazy. All right, what was the recipe again? Well, let's go back in here. Uh, we were making a high voltage coil. There we go. Uh, so two wires and then aluminum wires as well. Do we have aluminum? Oh, God. I do not believe we have any aluminum, guys. Um, so we're going to have to try to siphon for it. Now, uranium. So how do we actually get aluminum in the first place? We get these aluminum ore chunks. We sieve sand. Oh, that's really easy. We have 27 right there. Wait. Uranium. Dang it. We do have to sieve some sand. So I'm going to get back to sieving and I'll be back in a second when I have the required aluminum. What up, guys? We back. So I've been sieving a lot and it only, only aluminum came out of it. It was kind of strange. I got a bunch of sand. It was like eight stacks of sand, which is pretty easy with the mining drill. Uh, but anyways, we got the aluminum required, or we, we got to smelt it still, obviously. I wonder if this gives us two. Let's go ahead and make the ore chunks, and let's throw it into the arc furnace. And it should give us like 20. What's 19 times two? Oh, God, my brain, my brain, 20, 40, 38. 38 chunks. Let's go ahead and see what we have in here. Oh, God, the copper's still going. Nice. We got 20, 20 more copper, though. What happens when we freeze it, though? Uh-oh. Is this going to go? What's going on? <gasps> don't tell me the rods are okay the rods are still good um do we have to reset it now i think i glitched it i actually glitched it or something this ain't good oh no here let's re uh let's redo it let's take the graphite bars out and let's actually break just this little piece Boop. and oh maybe the slag was full maybe that was it um all right steel scaffolding let's put that down there let's get our uh hammer back here and we have uh, this right here going oh no we got it yeah, there we go um, perfect all right let's get the graphite bars up there why isn't this working let's figure this out huh. graphite bars are in energy is going up ores are going in aluminum ore there we go all right it's going up now sweet all right we're gonna let that uh, i guess we'll just wait here because we need it for the next part <laughs> uh time to time jump Whee! The aluminum has just melted. We're going to have to find a place for all this slag, man. But at least we can make it into concrete. That's the good thing. All right, so let's go ahead and cut up this aluminum, get some aluminum wires, and let's start with this uh, high-voltage coil block or whatever it was called. All right, we need some plates now. Let's go ahead and make... Uh, where's the hammer? There it is. Uh, I don't know how many we need, but let's just make 20 for now. Uh, there we go. And wire cutters with the aluminum plate makes the cables, baby. All right, back to the high voltage coil block there we go and wires are sticks aluminum on top steel on the side and we're gonna need some treated wood oh god where did i put that i think i put it here yes there we go all right there we go and put that right there so we got six sticks let's go ahead and put that in the middle steel on the left and right aluminum on the top and bottom so we needed uh six of these i believe one two three four five one more steel wire it looks like uh let's go ahead and Where's the steel? I put it in my bag. I had my inventory is getting crazy, but luckily I got a backpack. <laughs> All right, plate and then wires. Boom! Just it's that easy, guys. Come on, it's that easy. Uh, all right, then we need a treated wood stick. There we go. Uh, oh, oop, that's not right. Aluminum and steel. Bum bum, right there. More. Yeah, twenty four coils, and then this goes around iron. Oh God, where did I put my iron? I have one iron. Do we have to smelt more iron? Is that what's going on here? Oh, God. Don't tell me. Looks like it is. So let's go ahead and grab some iron from here. And we're going to go toss it into the furnace. Oh, there it is. There it is. I found it. There we go. 
Back to the arc furnace <laughs> to get more iron. All right, eight iron ingots going in the hatch. All right, we have a crafting table here, so we can continue here. So we need to put all this high voltage wire coil around this spot. What? Night? Was it? Was I trying to make three or four? I think I was trying to make four, right? Oh god, what have I done? Did I forget? No, I was only okay. Whew. I did my math correct. I promise. All right, there we go. All right, so now we need. Uh, the last thing we need is. Well, we need the scaffolding, but we got that. Copper coil block. So let's go ahead and grab that. Let's grab all the copper we can, because um, it sounds like we're going to need some copper for the copper coil block. Just saying, and some sticks. So let's go ahead and look up a copper coil block real quick. Oh, we already did. Look at that. Boom. We need some copper coil, uh, which is basically just copper wire around a stick, which is pretty easy. Um, copper wire is made, obviously, via the plate. So I don't know how many we need, but let's go ahead, let's go ahead and uh, make it all. 25 and then let's put that right there engineers wire cutters let's go ahead and make all that all right so we should have enough wire now let's put the urn right there the urn um uh it sticks right boom low voltage coil cable we have a ton of that in the uh in the base as well so all right so let's go ahead and make the blocks again so i think we just needed three wait do we need three i think it said we needed eight hold up uh-oh, we need to go sleep before, but it, we need eight of them. Oh, God, we're going to have to get some more ca copper cables. That's a lot. Jesus, we're going to have to uh, smelt some copper as well. Uh, let's go ahead and go to bed, though. I'll see you guys in the morning. Uh, there we go. All right, we back. So we should have some cable in the work chest here. Let's go ahead and check it out. Ooh, we have 53. I wonder if that'll be enough. So let's go ahead and get a ton of these around. Um, oops, not like that. Uh, oh god, so, oh, we need the, uh, we just need the iron. There we go, so there's six, so we need two more. Okay, we have enough, woohoo! Thank god I made a bunch of those when we were doing that turret. So let's go through here, we just need to keep the doors open, how about that? Alright, let's get in here, we got some iron, and we should be done, guys. Who is excited to light this sucker up and get some lightning going? This is gonna be insane. Um, this is not how you do it, Mike, what are you doing? Iron, there we go, one, two, boom! We have our copper coil blocks. Uh oh, what's that noise? Uh oh. Well, we need to make some wood. You know why? Because we need to make a chest. We need to get organized here because it is lightning time. I'm gonna do a little dance. It's gonna make lightning uh, hopefully come. Wink, wink. Uh, we got string right there. Let's put the copper. Let's put all this useless crap in here. We don't need this. We do definitely don't need the slag. This could be the slag chest. How about that? Sounds good to me. Um, put the glowstone in there. Whatever, whatever. And we can put the rest uh, in here. All right, there we go. Perfect. We are set up and ready. Let's go ahead and look at our engineer's mantle. We st oh, we need the fences. Crap, where's the fences at? Eh. There they are. We got the fences ready. All right, so obviously we are going to try to put... Uh-oh, it's getting hot, guys. I need to cool down a little bit with the wall. Uh, I wonder if uh, this is going to give us too much power and, like, we're just going to explode and the base is going to catch on fire and then everything's going to, you know, burn down again. That That's going to be very depressing if that happens, but let's go out there and let's see what happens. We got some cables, right? We, okay, we still have some cables. We need to get some of the connectors as well because we want to connect the uh, the arc for, or the uh, excavator up to it. So let's go ahead and get our connectors from the water chest right here, the connectors and the cables, and then on, meet me in the field. It's going down. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's put it right next to the uh, the excavator. <gasps> no, <laughs> my base is on fire again. Oh my god, I gotta go to game mode one. I'm not letting it burn down ever, guys. Don't worry. I have a schematic saved. I don't. I, I want to figure out how in the world. Okay, we uh, replace fire with air. There we go. It's we're gonna we're gonna figure that out later, guys. We're in the middle of an episode. We can't. We cannot deal with that right now. All I want to say is that I have the schematic saved of it. So I think next episode we're gonna we're just gonna go ahead and make it metal, guys. For you, we're gonna make it concrete and metal. That's gonna be my ode to the YouTube comments that you've been telling me to do that forever. But anyways, back to the lightning rod. Let's go ahead and place it. Uh, I guess right here. Let's go ahead and look at our engineer's manual. All right, we have. Oh god, was that another fire? Man. Anyways, back to this. All right, layer one is the high voltage. Ooh, the, oh, it's in the middle. That's so cool. I think we put it right through the middle, like one right there. And then we got our high voltage thingies right there. Um, we put four on the corners, and then I believe it's scaffolding on the side. So we got scaffolding right there. Let's go to that right there. Bop, 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 bop. 
First level done, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to the second one. And then looks like four fences right there. Let's get that. Bop, 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 bop. Hopefully that's in the right spot. Let's go back and let's check it out. Yeah. And then it's four of the light engineering blocks. We have that right there. Oh! You're going to get struck by lightning, zombie. You better back up. I like how you're not dying and it's daytime, but we're not going to talk about it. Can you die? There we go. Boom. All right. Light engineering block right there, 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 and there. I'm going to assume the high voltage coil block right there. That's going to be awesome. Let's go back. And we are on the final layer, guys. Another one of these. And then the voltage, the copper coil block all the way around. It is finished. I, I think. I think you got to use steel fences to make it taller, but we'll, we'll see in a second. Anyway, let's get this hammer out and let's check. Let's click on this. Oh, oh, this looks so cool. Oh, man. All right. I think these are the plugins, so let's go ahead and make a connector right there. And then what, what are these blocks? We're going to have to look at this. is different than anything I saw online. Uh, and then the hookup is right here. So we'll, we'll do a connector right there, a connector right there. And I guess we'll just mine that out of the way for now. Do a connector there. And then a relay. Oh, let's get the cable. <gasps> Where's my cables? There they are. There we go. Bingo. And let's hook that up right there. And let's hook this up right there. Let's do multiple hookups on the thing. And then we'll do we'll do another one right there. Eh. And eh. Oh, I cannot attach. Oh, I need the relay wire. Uh-oh. Let's just do... Let's, this is going to look terrible for now, guys. But trust me, I'm going to fix it. Let's do that right there. Oh. There we go. That's working. And this can be connected over here. Ha! Perfect. That's a little janky. It's totally not going to blow up, guys. I promise. All right, let's go ahead and move everything up here. And first of all, we got to do the rain dance. And let's go ahead and read up on it first. Lightning is a phenomenon of nature. It contains a huge amount of raw power. And this lightning rod is able to harness that power by stacking a lot of steel fences on this multi-block. You increase the chance of a lightning bolt striking it during rain or thunderstorms. So if we do take the steel and we make a bunch of steel fences, I think it was... Let's, how, how do you make steel fences? Look that up real quick. Huh. Steel fence. Just two rods and then the steel. Okay, do we have a crafting table on us? We do not. Crap. Let me get a crafting table. <laughs> All right, we got the crafting table. Bam! Put that right there. And then let's get our our rods. And then our fences. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. We're making the tallest lightning rod of all time. This is going to be insane. 12. Oh, I thought it would be way more than that. But anyway, so let's go ahead and make as much as we can. Because this is going to be fueling our our mining operation pretty much here. So we got steel fence. Uh, let's build up a little bit here. Eh. Uh -uh. All right, let's go. Boom. One fence down. Wait, how do you put it up? It wouldn't let me like stand on the fence. Crap. We're gonna have to put it. We're gonna have to do it like this. We're gonna have to uh, build up like that. Eh. Eh. <laughs> we're building it up tall, guys. I promise. And then we'll put one right there. Oh, come on, I can't go down. Oh, God. Uh, here we go. Eh, just one, and then this. Well, okay, we can reach now. There we go. All right, all the way up, and then one more. And then we'll spread it out like this. Yeah, that's a good idea. Here we go. We'll spread it out like that, and then we'll put three on the other. Oh, God. We need a jetpack. How do you, is there a jetpack in this mod pack? We need one, that's for sure. All right, let's go ahead and get all this wood out of the way, because I don't want it to be being fried to a crisp when the lightning comes down. No, I can't reach it. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Come on. There we go. There we go. All right. Pick up all the wood. And now we just got to do the rain dance. All right. This is going to be a little embarrassing, guys. Oh, we need... Oh, whatever. We're just going to put it right here. There we go. Hey, look at that. All right. There it is. The best looking, wink, wink, uh, lightning rod of all time. Now, all we need to do is dance and behind it. I promise it'll start raining. I, I promise. All right. Let's go in third person here. Let's get this. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. That's the music right there for the rain dance. Boom, boom. It's gonna rain. Boom, boom. It's gonna rain. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oh! Oh my god! It actually. Wait, what? I didn't know it was gonna work. Thank Rich. Every time you hit shift a billion times, it starts thundering. Thank you, Rich. That's awesome. Rain doing the rain dance mod, by the way. All right. Wait, that actually needs to be a mod. I just made that up. That's a genius idea. All right, we're going to wait for this thing to uh, get struck by lightning now. Um, 
I don't know how long it's going to take, but it's going to be scary. I guess I'll just keep recording and just looking at it. Maybe keep dancing. I wonder if... Oh my god. Does thunder cause us lightning? Or, uh... <laughs> lightning causes us fire. That's not good. That is not good. We're going to have to make this uh, concrete house ASAP. Alright, there's lightning. Is it is it working with the... Uh, the excavator is not getting power. Alright, well, we're going to wait here. And then we're going to keep recording until something happens. Oh. And hopefully it's not that. Oh! Oh, no! Where did the creeper come from, dude? We need to get back. What the heck? Well, guys, I think we ran into an unforeseen unforese consequence. Is that when it rains, the mobs spawn because of the night. It's pretty much nighttime, essentially. Uh, which is not good. Um, I did not see that happening. And I got blown up. And I lost my backpack. So, I don't know what I, I, all I lost in it. But that is very bad. And obviously... Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, it went away. Why am I... Why am I spinning? There we go. Alright, so uh, I guess we'll just wait here instead of waiting out there. And uh, hopefully my house doesn't burn down by then. But hopefully I want to see this excavator going, baby. Let's see it. Alright. Let's just wait here. I'm going to start recording. Well, guys, we might have to take a, uh, <laughs> a rain check on the thunder thingy happening. Uh, because it seems to be quite rare. I think I'm going to make a bunch of steel and we're going to make that thunder rod go all the way into the sky and then like a huge net of it will help us a little bit. And I th I'm pretty sure I saw Ezekiel down there. Ezekiel! What are you doing down there? Ah, I'm spinning again. Ezekiel. Oh, he's mad. He's mad at that creeper. Oh, God. Where's my screen? All right, there it is. But anyways, in the next episode, we'll have a bigger net of steel. And then obviously in the next episode, we're going to add a new mod, guys. I know that isn't obvious, but I'm just telling you right now, we're going to add a new mod. So it's going to be fun. I only have iron pants. I'm getting fired in from behind by a million skeletons. So it turns out rain is uh, very scary in Apocalypse. You do not want it to rain. You want it to thunder, but not rain. Anyways, guys, you have a good day. This has been Cannibal Crab. This has been Apocatopia. I will see you guys in the next episode. Be sure to put your name in the comments so I can get you in here into the series. Let me know what you want to be as well on your comment, and then I will get it. I will make it happen. All right. I will see you guys later. This is Cannibal Crab signing out.